How dare any bus company stop services, the only transportation service that travels from Danford and Westside to Newport Mall? Latrell de Ross is finding a fewer number 31 buses running on Westside and Montgomery in Jersey City. She says a trip that used to take 8 to 12 minutes to Newport Center now takes an hour because the private bus company, ANC, after suspending service altogether, has reduced the 31 to a modified Sunday schedule, one bus an hour between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Any lack of transportation for anyone, let alone our students, elderly, and disabled persons, is inhumane. And we as a community deserve better to get from point A to point B. Our community depends on the 31 Newport Mall bus and every other bus to be useful, safe, and timely. No, the 31 Newport Mall bus should not work on a modified Sunday schedule said to me yesterday. ANC told us ridership fell off by 95% in March and has only climbed back to 35% of pre-pandemic levels. And it costs more to run a 31 bus than each one makes. The company says it needs NJ Transit to share the 1.4 billion revenue replacement CARES dollars it received from the federal government. Jersey City's mayor and elected officials echoed that. And our point is that if New Jersey Transit is going to make that decision, um, then they should assume these lines within New Jersey Transit. It's unacceptable for them to just allow the service to be cut entirely. If they're saying they're not going to help those private vendors, then it's their responsibility to provide the service directly on the public side. So we're calling on New Jersey Transit to what we think is right and what we think is fair and invest in the public transportation system. Others describe the bus line as a lifeline. I grew up in the Housing Authority. I know what it's like to struggle to get from job to job to keep the hustle going, to wake up and to find out that your bus line, your only bus line, is going to be gone. And you don't know that until you wait at the bus stop and find out that it is changed. The south side of Jersey City has already lost transportation. This is yet another blow to vulnerable population who lost a bus line on Ocean Avenue recently. These lines are vital. We don't have many of them. We're in a very transit poor area. NJ Transit says it cannot absorb more routes. Riders have other options and it's seeking relief funds for private carriers from Congress. The bus association's lobbyist says talks are ongoing with NJ Transit, but so far private bus operators remain in a lurch. One council member echoed a major concern. This is happening to Jersey City today. It can happen in your community tomorrow. So what I would encourage you to do is put pressure on New Jersey Transit. Michael Hill, NJ Spotlight News. <laughs>